Franklin D. Roosevelt had gained the confidence of America as he led them through the Great Depression. He was now leading America through another trying time. He worked closely with Winston Churchill and Stalin. They led the Allied forces of America, Britain, and the Soviet Union as they fought the Axis powers of Germany, Italy, and Japan. World War II was the most destructive war to date, with millions of lives lost. During all of this, Hitler led the Nazi regime in an attempt to exterminate all Jews and form a pure Aryan nation. Over three million Jews were killed at concentration camps or crematoriums at the hands of Nazis. Over three million Soviet Union soldiers captured by Nazis died in POW camps. In 1943, the Soviet Union's Red Army overcame the German invasion in Stalingrad. Opposition to Hitler began in Germany, although concentration camps persisted for two more years. In February 1943, Jordan Jerome Corbett was drafted to serve in the U.S. Army. While serving in the U.S. Army, the war continued, as did the atrocities of the Holocaust. While the Allied forces fought for power, their victory also made it possible to end the tragic nightmare that so many Jews had faced as the whole Jewish race had been deemed unworthy of human rights. Yet America had a segment of their own population deemed unworthy of equal rights as racial discrimination was rampant. Blacks were prohibited from sitting in the front of the bus, using the same public water fountains and restrooms as whites. I wonder how it could be that even while serving a country that didn't serve them and being treated so differently from their white counterpart, how could these remarkable black soldiers willingly volunteer to be one of the first black paratroopers? Who were these brave and patriotic and selfless men that were discriminated against and yet put those feelings aside to do what they felt was right for their country? We are so fortunate to have one of these men in our presence here in Bartow and to be able to pay tribute to this unsung hero. If all he did in his life was serve in the U.S. Army as a black paratrooper, he would have made more of a difference than most, but that is not all he did. For 30 years, Mr. Corbett taught math and chaired the math department, first at Union Academy and then at Bartow Senior High. He also was an outstanding track and cross country coach, leading both schools to become state champs several times. When he retired from teaching, he was elected to serve on the Polk County School Board for 12 years. He also taught Sunday school at the St. James AME Church in Bartow, where he still attends. What an honor and inspiration it is to know how he lived. His recent visit to Summerlin Academy will be etched in the minds of our young people for years to come. Mr. Corbett, you have paved the way for many people, black, white, and all men and women. I have heard Mr. Corbett say that the reason he did what he did was because it was the right thing to do. Mr. Corbett has a very distinct sense of right and wrong, which he attributes to his faith and relationship with God. It is no wonder that his favorite verse is found in the 23rd chapter of Psalm. I wonder how many times he has recited that over the years. Thank you, Mr. Corbett. Thank you for your humble spirit, and thank you for your service to your country and community. You have truly made a difference.